Hello guys and welcome to a new video from Hackinons. In this video, we will learn how to extract data from a JSON file in Python. Technically, JSON, also known as JavaScript Object Notation, is a very popular data standard used for exchanging information and for also representing structured data. It has become a completed norm to date. It has become a common norm to transfer data that is used in APIs in the form of a JSON and this is exchanged between the client and the server side for web applications. In this video, we will get ourselves familiarized with the JSON model present and also some important functions that you can use in your programs. So without further wasting time, let's begin the video. So first thing what I've done is I've imported the JSON module that is present and you do not need to install it using pip or something. It's already present as a default module as soon as you install Python. And then I have created a simple Python dictionary and a JSON object is like a Python dictionary which has a set of keys and values. However, it is not a Python dictionary since it's a string. So basically you write a Python dictionary and then at the start and end you put the parenthesis denoting that it's a string. So now this is a representation of a string in Python. However, when we convert it to JSON object, it will be a representation of JSON format. To convert a Python string to a JSON object, you simply need to use the dumps. So I'll create a variable called as temp file is equal to json and then i'll use this function called as dumps and inside the dumps i will put the data that i am working with that is the data variable stored over here and now i'll use my context manager and say with open and now i'll create a file name so i'll just call it my file and its extension will be a json type format so i'll say my file dot json then comma, I'll put an argument of W, which means I'm writing data into that file and then as file. And what I'll say is now file dot write, that is the write function present inside the Python file handling method. And inside that I will write the temp file that I've created. So basically we are opening a file called as my file dot JSON and then we are writing the data stored inside the temp file variable. And now if I run this program, okay, I just uh, wrote the spelling of JSON wrong. So let me make this current changes. And now if I run the program, as you can see, it says finished, which means the program has compiled successfully. And now if I go inside my folder, as you can see a file called my file dot JSON is visible and I click on that and now you can see your data present inside a JSON file. Now the next thing that you would like to do is obtain data from a JSON file. So you can even do that. And for that, I will again use my context manager. So what I will say with open my file, the file that we were currently working with dot JSON. And this time I will place in a argument of R since we are reading from it. And I'll say as a file. And then I'll create a variable called as temp and then I will say json dot load and I'll put in the data that I've saved in my context manager that is file and now I'll simply print in the temp variable so I'll just print temp and if I run the program as you can see the J data that was stored inside the json file is now present inside a python program. Now I would like to talk about the few functions that are present inside the dump s module. If you treat the data that we are using as a dictionary instead of a string, so I'll just remove these quotation marks. And now if I use the dump s module, so I'll say temp is equal to json dot dump s and then I'll put in the data as an argument. Then we have a function argument called as indent. And if I put the indent to three, 
you will be able to see certain difference so let me show you that so i'll just show you print temp and as you can see now the output is not visible on a single line but it is indent in a perfect manner since the argument indent was given inside the function another important point that we need to remember is the data representation of a python object with its json equivalent data type so dictionary is stored inside a form of an object in json then the list and tuple that we have is stored as an array the string is also stored as a string variable and any type of number such as an integer float or decimal is stored as a simple number in json data and the data type none is stored as n u l l also known as null so it's important that you know the equivalent data stored inside json while working with your json data so that's it from this quick video where we understood what is json and how to handle and work with json data if you like this video do drop a like and subscribe to the hackinons youtube channel and press the bell icon for more fun and amazing videos